NASA's historic Artemis mission is now in the final stretch of its journey. The uncrewed spacecraft made its second close flyby of the moon today. Tonight, CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez shows us how this mission will ultimately end right off San Diego's coast. The spacecraft has now started its journey back to Earth. It's expected to plunge through the Earth's atmosphere and splash down just off the coast of San Diego in the Pacific Ocean this Sunday. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. The Artemis 1 mission made an unprecedented trip around the moon without a crew inside. I'm very excited. Um, I've been working on this for about six years. Melissa Jones with NASA says they've been holding special training exercises with the military leading up to Artemis 1 returning to Earth. A Navy ship will help retrieve the spacecraft from the ocean. Last week we went to sea with them and used the ship to do some training. We also use helicopters uh, from North Island. HSC 23 is the squadron that supports us and um, we use divers from Coronado. She says the spacecraft will be traveling 24,000 miles per hour upon reentry. NASA will try slowing it down and use parachutes so that it hits the water at just 25 miles per hour. The Artemis program's eventual goal is to put people back on the moon. Uh, we're trying to send the first woman and person of color to the moon. Following this mission, NASA looks to fly a crew around the moon with Artemis 2. Artemis 3 hopes to land people on the moon for the first time since Apollo 17 in 1972. Uh, having the human experience be able to catch uh, sunlight glinting off of a rock that maybe a robotic explorer wouldn't have noticed in that time. So it, it, it allows for more exploration with our human touch. NASA says it will have a live feed as the spacecraft plunges into the water off of our coast this Sunday. This will mark the end of its mission, which started back on November 16th. Reporting in La Jolla, Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.